What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have like and sub, and let's get into this. I have yet to see a genuine, honest, good, positive reaction of like, no, I like this. I like the stories, the characters. I like everything they're doing, really, of anyone, of anyone. Maybe tacitly some people that could see a few, including myself, that maybe could see some nuggets of scaffolding that like you could have climbed to a good story and characters, but ain't none of that actually delivered on, at least in the first two episodes. So Leslie Headland, of course, Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant, who I'm sure knew nothing, uh, the Acolyte gets destroyed by viewers. The latest Star Wars series, The Acolyte from showrunner Leslie Headland, is getting destroyed by viewers for just how bad it is. Rotten Tomatoes, of course, has an abysmal 45 uh, percent on all audience scores and here are what some of the people are saying one wrote as a read of the high republic this was disappointing i'm sorry to say that venestra Rowe is misunderstood yes very different from the character that i read in the one uh, high republic novel that i did uh the costume makeup hair and set designs were atrocious atrocious can't even speak atrocious where did the $180 million in budget go? The music is just terrible and tries to copy the prequels to improve. I did see, oh, we remember wipes, uh, scene wipes and the music. And I, God, at least you tried, but um, props to them for creating new planets. However, are they fresh, new, and inventive? No, not like Andor or the Mandalorian. The which hardly had new and inventive planets. Uh, the action and choreography was okay. There was no emotion behind any of it. And yes, uh, no emotion, very hard. Uh, and the son that, at least with the main character, I know English was his first time uh, speaking in English. And I think that translated. There was just something, there was a disconnect. Uh, another posted story doesn't fit the timeline well they're going to ignore the actual timeline 100 years before the empire should have given us a story focused on the moon sith lord plagueis and his master tenembra uh tenambra rather uh it gave it a shot hoping it would be good anyway because it's star wars yeah this just goes to show you they've long since uh not understood that disney has taken over fully the yord character was painful to watch and appears dense and not bright considering his rank in the order the young jackie seemed to outsmart uh, outsmart him at times and yeah that was the other thing they very clearly had a dynamic where jackie and uh yord were padawans at the same time for whatever reason yord became a jedi knight first so even though he outranks her now she still treats him like she uh, he's an apprentice which would not fucking fly her master would have corrected that but uh, one person wrote i don't even know what they're trying to accomplish with this show it's dry and boring love dandor like ahsoka but this just no so what they're trying to accomplish is star wars diversity everyone is fucking diverse uh black brown asian only white people was one which we're gonna see here and of course adding fat jedi which made everyone laugh uh really did make everyone laugh star wars the acolyte falls short of expectations with its uneven pacing and superficial character development oh my god a lot of like so what have you been doing and then they just talk and they tell you everything in the in the plot uh falls short of expectations with its uneven pacing and superficial character development despite attempts to blend a murder mystery with classic star wars elements the execution feels disjointed and lacks the darker tone required amandala stinberg's performance is inconsistent and the fight scenes though numerous often feel out of place yeah didn't mind her osha character who was basically just a failed jedi that instead of going to work at the gardening corps or the diplomatic corps she just leaves and becomes a mechanic for the trade federation even though the trade federation uses robots and droids not humans but they try to explain that away too by saying she's nimble hm, giggity uh but yeah still Another one said, I just can't stomach modern sci-fi anymore. Massive budget, mediocre actors, and utterly abysmal writers. So you've seen Rebel Moon. Uh, this is simply terrible. The writing and acting is woeful. I must say, however, it looks amazing and is a huge improvement on Kenobi. Bruh, that ain't saying much. Everything is an improvement on Kenobi. Um, and here, the Metacritic 3.2 uh, user score out of 10. That ain't good. Uh, I like to hear Chipotle 33 gave it a zero and wrote, no one wants this. Disney killed Star Wars and now they're desecrating its corpse. Accurate. Extremely poor writing, poor choreography, pointless story. There's no reason to care about this series at all. And you can just see this just goes on and on. This is the one that made me go, what the fuck? Yeah, fat Jedi. Fat Jedi. Fat body positivity Jedi. How'd you get through the training? 
I'm telling me maybe he was skinny at one point and then he got to this outpost and he just chunked up and no one stopped him. No, no, the local master didn't say, nah, bro, don't do that. And speaking of which, there's your white representation, this balding, horrible, fucked up, nasty, scarred, uh, fake bearded white Jedi. There you go. There's your white representation so we can feel uh, seen and inclusive. And yeah, he's basically spent 10 years floating like that because I guess no one told Leslie that Jedi still need to eat food and drink water that the force can't sustain them for 10 years uh maybe uh, like a month or two at most and you'd be in heavy heavy deep mod uh you know meditation not fucking 10 years not 10 years though and of course yeah the body positive jedi made everyone laugh i don't know this is just more and more of it getting ruined uh the acolyte is yet another stellar example of using diversity as a shield against lackluster writing and production quality uh gary saying those were the good episodes because as we have heard these first two episodes are the non-offensive ones where its biggest sin seems to be what people are saying it's just boring but the third episode is where we get the pronouns in star wars it's where the force is female is canonized and it's where we're going to hear about the lesbian uh, witches the regal coven of force witches on the planet brandock who that's where the twins come from my and osha and they are made the immaculate conception between two lesbian force sensitives force scissoring for lack of a better term and yeah dear god and that the when the jedi find out they come and they're the reason everything went to shit so we could blame the jedi for everything and uh in this case the jedi will just be an allegory for patriarchy or white males so yeah sorry everybody it's our fault everything's our fault so let me know what you think of this if you watched it by now uh are you sharing some of these same reactions or are you like me like you were completely non pulsed because you're waiting for the meat. You're waiting for the big, juicy stuff that's going to come out in that third episode. Oh, boy. Anyway, let me know what you think. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, well. bye.